it permission. Yes. yes. Okay. Do you want me to read the question again? Yeah. Okay. So in the diagram, the circle with the center X is tangent to the largest circle and passes through the center of the largest circle. The circle with center Y and C are each tangent to the other three circles. As shown, the circle with center X has the radius 1. From here to here. The circle with center Y and Z have the radius R. The value closest to R is. What do you mean by tangent? It's um, they only share one point in common. Like for X is tangent only here, like that is touching. And then here X is tangent here, and X is tangent here, and then here. Single point on. Yeah. Find so, a solution uh, for getting all the centers of the circle. Yeah. Yes. That's what I mean too. Okay. They're just connecting all the centers of the circle and they're creating a triangle here. Suppose that circle with center X touches the largest circle at S. Yeah. So here. The two circles with center Y and Z are T and U respectively. T and U respectively. These two points. These two points. Suppose that the circle with center Y and Z touches each other. Y and Z touches each other. At A. The largest circle at B and C respectively. So they're just joining it. X to Y, X to Z, Y to Z. You'll be able to create a triangle like this. Yeah. So, they're writing this as XY is equal to XT plus TY. Okay. Yeah. And we already knew the radius of the circle is like which is this is one and this is r so xt plus ty can be written as one plus And so XZ can be written as XU plus UZ. So XU is again going to be 1. UZ is going to be R, 1 plus R. Yeah. YAZA, -A, YB, ZC. These are all R. Yeah. All the radius of the same, right? When one circle is inside another circle, the two circle touches at a point. Then radio of these two circles that passes through these points lie on the top of each other. This is because yeah. the circles have common tangent at the point where they touch and this common tangent will be perpendicular to each of the radii. Since the circle with center X touches the largest circle S, X lie on OS. See that? X lie on OS. Can you see it? Yeah. Lay on OS. In the largest circle, consider the diameter that passes through x. 
since the circle with center x passes through o then radius of the larger circle is twice that of the circle with the center x r2 so here uh, we already knew the radius value is 1 so twice means it's just going to be 1 plus 1 which is 2 yeah is it clear yeah See how they are finding the other values. O, Y. They are rewriting O, Y as O, B minus B. Uh, from the center. Okay, so O, Y is O, B minus, yeah. Clear? Yeah. yeah. So then that would be 2 minus uh, R. R. So the same thing applies to OZ as well. Let me choose the thin line. So OZ, you just connect OZ. So calculating OZ, you just have to subtract the ZC from OZ. Yeah. So OZ we are aware which is 2, 1 plus 1. And the ZC is R, so it's just 2 minus R. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay, they just gave an another uh, formal explanation. Draw a common tangent through A to the circle with center Y and C. Okay. Here. Okay. O, Y, Z is an isosceles triangle. O, Y, Z. Oh. O, Y, Z. This part. Yeah. Right. Because both O, Z and O, Y are R. Right? Yeah. But, uh, this Y, Z is different. So here, two sides are same. So you can call this triangle as the isosceles triangle since o, o y is equal to O z here. And again, triangle x y z is an isosceles triangle. How, what is the value of x y? 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, which is 2. No, is isn't it 1 plus r? 1 plus r, oh yeah, yeah. For this triangle, it is 1. And I mean, for this circle, it is 1. For the smaller one, it's R. Yeah. So, XZ is 1 plus R. XY is also 1 plus R. Yes. So, they are equal. I think here, it's just uh, 2R. R plus R, 2R. So, the base difference. So, you can call this one as the isosceles triangle. Yeah. And look at the altitude. Altitude of this. The question is to find the what R is, right? Yes, the value of R, which is closest. So in the triangle, uh, okay. So now they are saying O Y A is a right angle triangle. You can see a right angle triangle over here. Yeah. It. So you can apply the Pythagorean theorem over there. So high you know, 2 minus r squared um, minus r squared and yeah. then we get so oa squared. O squared is equal to oa squared plus ya squared. But here they are finding the value of oa. So it's 2 minus r minus b whole square minus r squared. So just expand them using the a minus b whole square. This r squared and this r squared will cancel over each other. So that's going to be your O A. And again, using the Pythagorean theorem, they are writing X, Y, A triangle. You can see another triangle. Let me use a straight line for the 
to this right angle. Can you see a right angle over here? Yeah. Yes. Oh, they're doing that too. Yeah. Oh, so then they find it. Okay. Okay. So it's xa squared plus ya squared is equal to xy squared. So xa squared, like this can be written as xo plus oa. Yeah. And ya squared can be written as ya squared itself. Yeah. And xy squared can be written as xt plus ty squared, right? So xo plus oa. So we know the value of xo, which is already given in the question as one. The OA value, we just figured it out that it is substitute over here. And YA squared. So YA squared R. is this value, which is R. And XY squared, again, this one, which is 1 plus R. So 1 plus R equals 1. So we just have to expand this using A plus B the whole square. That will give you 1 plus 2 R plus R squared. R squared. Yeah. And... Uh, XO plus OA the whole square will give you what is XO? XO is 1. OA the whole square is this one. And you have plus R square. This they are taking on the other side. You are having minus R square here yeah, so that this yeah. one is with You get 1 plus 2. R. It's just a simplification. Can you simplify? Yeah, let me just check. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting what they're the, the same symbol. Then you get um eight r equals nine r squared. So then if you take r from both sides and then take the nine to the other side, it's eight over nine equals r. Yeah, you're getting zero point eight nine eight eight. Yeah. So you're just rounding off to the closest option, which is zero point eight nine. Okay. Okay. All right. Question number twenty five. You also want me to discuss? Yeah. So you have three real numbers, x, y, z are chosen randomly independent of each other between 0 and 1x inclusive. What is the probability that each of x minus y and x minus z is greater than minus 1 by 2 and less than 1 by 2? Okay. Real number they say. Real number in the sense like in between 0 and 1, you will have trillions of number, like 0 0.1. 0. Yeah. Like that, right? Because uh, they mention it as real number, not integer or whole number. Yes? Yeah. So you have to write like this. X varies from 0 to 1. Y varies from 0 to 1. Z varies from 0 to 1. So we're just associating it to triplets. The point inside this cube, by letting x be perpendicular distance of the point from the left face, left face and y be the perpendicular distance of a point from the point face, z is a perpendicular distance from the bottom face. You can see it here. So we are assuming it's just a mirror image, okay, like you are having right, which means it's left. Right? From the front face means this on the bottom face. Is it clear? Like x, y, z. Maybe left, 
bottom and front. Is it clear? Yeah. So in general, like when you uh, plot a coordinate, like if I give you like one comma two or six comma one, you will you will plot them in the two dimensional uh, coordinate plane, isn't it? And yeah. here we do have three coordinates, triple numbers. So which is why you are plotting in the cube because it is a three dimensional figure. Is it clear? Yeah. What is the probability that each of x minus y and x minus z greater than minus 1 by 2 or less than 1 by 2? So they gave us some condition, which is a restriction. So you can write it like this. x minus y varies from minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2. x minus z also varies from minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2. So restrict the values of x, y, and z that can be chosen which translates into restricting the points inside the cube that satisfy these conditions. Hence, these restrictions determine regions inside the cube. So we are going to find the area inside the cube. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. See how they are finding the area of it. So, so it's just a randomly chosen point inside the cube. Okay, we are just going to equate this to the volume of a region because you have chosen x, y, z coordinates. That's uh, um, it is in three dimension, right? So you will have to calculate the volume of the region as well. You yeah. have to calculate the volume of a region which is restricted by the condition. Okay. So, so first of us looking at x and y. Let's consider the plane because like they gave us the condition for x minus y and x minus z. So x minus y means we can stick to the two dimension, like just one face of the cube. Like yeah. The face uh, which forms using the x-axis and y-axis. Okay. Let's yeah. try to draw. This. So x-axis and y-axis, this value must be aware. Like from here, it's 0 to 1. In the y-axis also, 0 to 1. And this point going to be uh, 1 comma. 1. 0 comma 0, 1 comma 1, 0 comma 1. Uh, and sorry, 1 comma 0, this is 0 comma 1, right? Yeah. And you have a restriction that, that half value, right? So you have half here and half here. So, all right. So they said, uh, this is the condition. So it's So then y equals to x minus half. Yeah. Uh, for example, for calculating the value of uh, value of x, you have to subtract x, right? So just subtract them. What happens? This x and this x will cancel out each other. You will have like minus x. This way, the of minus x. So uh, now, if I multiply the entire thing by minus, I'll be having x plus one by two less than y less than. Two. But wouldn't the sign switch? Yeah, like side will switch because like this is lesser, this is greater. Yeah. It becomes. Is it clear? Yeah. So I hope you are able to follow this. We are just rearranging them, right? So from yeah. here we can see that uh, y varies from x minus one by two to x plus one by two. Is it clear? Yeah. So by substituting random values to the x, you can easily find the value of y here, right? And in substitution also, you have to stick to the condition that you have to substitute the values only from 0 to 1 because x varies from, like ranges from 0 to 1, isn't it? So what if you substitute x as 0? It's going to be like 
which is two. So it's this, which is why you do have this point. Is it clear? Yeah. Well, okay. So what if you do? If you substitute the value of x one by two, it's gonna be like just one. Maybe this one. No, no, no. It's one by two, comma one, right? One by two in the x-axis, one in the y-axis means um, here, here, this point. Do you understand? Yeah, they're just creating graphing the both lines. Yeah, so you just have to substitute the values in the x minus one by two and x plus one by two. Okay, can you find out this one? Okay, well, um, so if y is equal to 1, then you take the half to the other side. So then x is equal to 1 minus half, which means x is equal to half, which is why you have x 1 comma half. You got this? Yeah. So, so this uh, this region, they're saying that this region allow us to slice a cube, right? Just assume a situation. You have a, a, a block of cheese, like, which looks like cube shape, okay? So just uh, slicing a cheese. So when you slice a cheese, you'll be able to get, again, it will be a three-dimension, uh, okay? But the thing is like the depth or height will be very less. Right? Yeah. Do you follow? So that's what we are doing here. We are just nullifying the other dimension here. Yeah, you have, to, you have to together. cut this dimension. You have to cut this yeah. part and then this. Yes. So you're doing the same, like when you, uh, when they ask you to uh, find it for X minus Z condition. So just imagine you are just turning the, uh, your cheese in the other way, like the other direction. Yeah. And you, and you're making a, slice out of it do you understand yeah so when you you have to make sure you give these boundary like you have to mark like zero is it one by two comma one 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 by two one 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 by two one zero one by two is it clear so yeah this is the area that you're gonna eat is it clear yeah because it's the exact same inequality except z yes. That is the that is the record z right. Okay. So they are repeating the same for the z as well. So it's just going to be like minus one by two less than x minus z less than one by two. For finding z, you just have to subtract x again. It's going to be like minus x minus one by two x minus z minus one by two one by two. I mean, I mean, it's supposed to be six. Minus x, minus x, this, this will cancel out each other. And I'm gonna multiply this by minus, so it's we'll just turn the other way around to come like x minus one by two and x plus one by two. Same, same story as well. Yeah. So, so we are just uh, slicing it. We are slicing the cube from the front to back. To make half the half the half. Yes, it's like that. We split one cross one cross cube into eight cubes. They are saying each measuring like half into half into half. Is it clear? Yeah. It looks like this. For x axis, the y axis. And for the z axis, and you'll be able to see the difference in the plane, right? Yeah. 
because you are drawing a 3D shape on the 2D plane. So this is how it looks actually. Like one thing is like you can you can look at the bottom and then like yeah, you one will be at the front, front Let's or back, and one will be at the top or bottom. Yeah. One will be left or right. Do you understand? Yeah, because you have to skip the values in the middle. Even it's like one by one. But in real scenario, it's not one by one. Actually, it's, it's, it looks like if you just stack them up. You just stack all these slices of cheese. But it's not like that. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. See how they are acting. So from the diagram, little cube, bottom front left. Bottom, okay, we'll just uh, focus on the S condition so that we can put no for the rest, okay? And bottom front right, bottom, this is bottom. Wouldn't this be right? They said bottom, yeah, like the, the whole thing is bottom. This is bottom, right? Yeah. So on the bottom, they said front right. The this condition. Yeah. And for the bottom back left. This is bottom. It's very difficult to see. Give me a minute.
थैंक यू अमृत Yeah, one minute, Chan. I'm just checking it. I think the medium is going to end.